going on. I can't believe this is crazy. Well, maybe it's not crazy. I guess it's whatever. It's only a few people own newspapers. This is unbelievable. Oh, hey, hey, internet via the Instagram. It's me, T. When the Pattersons taking the trench to bed. Oh man, I, it's a Sunday, which means it's a. Uh, I'm supposed to read to you. And so I'm looking through. I was looking through the, uh, some newspapers, right? That here in South Africa, like first thing I got uh, after my walk, you know, I stopped by the check is there. And they only had the Sunday Times. That's just what we got. Cause Sunday Times is one of these papers like that, like that. So I was looking because there's a new president of Botswana. So I was looking to see if they printed his speech out or something like that. So I looked there. They didn't have it, so I came back here and I went over to the little mall they have over here, and uh, I picked up the. Uh, Picked up the uh, uh, Daily Maverick. Daily Maverick started out as an online paper a few years ago. I used to check them out. They have a whole paper now, and uh, they have something here about Sadik. Uh, I think yeah, they had something about Sadik, but they didn't didn't have the guy's speech. And then I picked up the Mail and Guardian. I figured that they no no they didn't have anything. I stayed right. I picked up the Mail and Guardian, uh, which they used to be really big, but just to whatever. Uh, they only had some stuff about uh, 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 they, they don't want to have anything about static, I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So I spent basically 100 rand on, on three newspapers and I didn't get what I wanted. Because I wanted to, to get the Duma, his name, his name is Duma Boko. Now that's the new president of Botswana. It's interesting because only a few weeks ago, uh, uh, Jewish, Jewish Malema, the head of EFF, of course he's always making speeches, he was basically saying, what? Botswana has a, an American air base there, you know, they got a military presence in Botswana. Botswana. So I'm going like, really? And then lo and behold, a few weeks later, you know, that president got, well, uh, he, he got unelected. Let's put it that way, because the, the new president, uh, uh, Duma Boko, he's a, he's a, a, a he, he got elected. So by peaceful means, you know, the people just whew, got rid of that guy. And so now, uh, the guy made a speech, and I heard part of it, and then he was talking about he's, he's going to get rid of the, the American base there, just like they did up in the Sahel, up, up there in Mali, and, and Burkina Faso, getting rid of the military presence there, you know, which is a good thing, which also, in fact, let's tie this all together. Uh, you know, with the new, with the new uh, uh, president, and um, the new president who's, uh, who's the old president from a few years ago, maybe Donald Trump, uh, you know, uh, uh, he says a lot of things, but remember, American politics, when they elect it, they just do with American, with the, in, in country politics, country po in country politics. They don't really, the, the voters I'm talking about, they don't pay no attention to what's happening outside the international politics. But I'm sitting outside, I'm, I'm interested in that because the Sahel people, you know, you know Mali, uh, uh, Niger, Burkina Faso, now they're joined by Senegal, uh, other people, right? Uh, they're, they're a force to be reckoned with, and then where BRICS is going to come to them, whatever have you. So, I'm figuring that, hey man, internationally, the, 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 the Americans, you know, they, 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 they don't want to be kicked out of Africa. Well, they, they said that already. But they're going to be kicked out of Africa. So with the Botswana base, if this, this guy said he's, 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 a, he, he's a socialist. He said he's a socialist. But either way, he don't want the American base there. So the American base be, might be out of the, 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 the it's called the SADC region here. Out, out of there, SADC is sort of a weak kind of thing. But I always believe, I'm saying it has to be regional, you know. But it's interesting is that with Jewish Malema, it's essentially because now you get the, the MK party, uh, which is a new party here in South, Southern Africa, they sort of, they, they, there's, a, there's some, a, a lot of uh, people from the EFF is going over to that party and because they're all challenging the ANC uh, because the ANC did not, what they did was they, they didn't make coalition with the other party, they made coalition with the DA, which is like making coalition with the United States. I'm just telling you. And so people are pretty upset about that. <laughs> so uh, I think that's what's going to happen. So I think the EFF is going to slowly be uh, drained, but the, but the MK is going to basically take up the thing. Don't worry, it'll all play out. I'm not predicting it. It's all going to play out. But I, I've always said this. I said this before. Jesus Malemus, what he should do, uh, I think he eventually wants to be the head of African Union, but let's leave that alone. He needs to be the head of SADC. This is Southern African... Southern African Development Committee, whatever. It's it's it's, 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 it's like it's like there's 13 nations between uh, basically Madagascar and and and, and uh, 
DRC or oh, to see the, all these nations here that are below the below below the uh, the Sahara or whatever however that thing is right so they all need to get their ex together they'll be like the Sahel states so if you have the Sahel states up there up northern Africa or western Africa if you want and then you have the whole southern region have on the same accord in terms of uh, uh, getting rid of uh, uh, I, these names is neo-colonialism, cap predatory capitalism, whatever you want to call it, then that would be a good thing, right? Anyway, the point is, this guy is going to be good. Now we have some other good guys. That, they killed somebody, a Zambian guy, and like that. The, uh, the guy uh, in uh, Malawi is supposed to be good. Now did he get rid? Well, there's some people all in this region that uh, they're, they're waking up because younger people are coming and they, I guess they're listening to younger people. And uh, unfortunately, well, it's because they're listening to, to the internet, you know, they get all the information on the internet and not newspapers. And the newspapers are only owned by a few, by, by a few people, you know, just like, just like all media all over. And, 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 and people are realizing, especially with the U.S. And pres US, US elections, they realize like the legacy uh, newspapers, uh, big TV stations, they are like, Nah, <laughs> we get out of it for different sources on the internet, you see, and then you put it together yourself. Like I said, if I hear a speech from Jules Lemon, then a few weeks later a new president is here, then I sort of then I see what's happening there, and I put it all together. And so when I'm talking to you, I'm 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 I'm, I'm, bring, I'm amalgamating. Oh, the brother used a big word. I wonder he probably don't know what it means. But anyway, I'm putting it all together, and then I'm presenting it to you. But you're not supposed to listen to me. You're supposed to be saying, oh, the I wonder what the brother's talking about. So now you not to, now it's on you, <laughs> you, to go and start looking what I'm, what, about what I'm talking about, you know, because things are, things are changing in the world. They, they are changing rather rapidly, you know. So now what everybody's attention is on, on Donald Trump, which is, it's, I, I have to talk, it's Tuesdays, look, Sundays is what I, I'm supposed to read to you, and I, I couldn't read because I couldn't find a speech. Sorry. Do better next next Sunday, uh, and uh, so that's, this is like a, I read and then I riff off the reading. As you see, I don't edit anything; I just talk. Right on Mondays is Me Day, right? Tuesdays is U.S. Politics Day uh, or U.S. Center Day. Wednesday is World Center Day. Uh, Thursday is Audio Drama Day, very good day. Uh, Friday is uh, like a, a whatever I missed during the weekday, and Saturday is whatever comes to mind, right? Uh, so uh, I'll get back on the whole. Let's uh, what's happening. Uh, with, 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 with the U.S. politics on Tuesday, right? I might touch something on tomorrow, Monday, when I talk a little bit about me. I think, uh, well, well, we'll see what happens. But it's all so very interesting. But I do have to say one thing. Uh, to, my felt, to my countrymen <laughs> in the United States, yo, it's done. Just stop what you're doing and do what you're supposed to be doing, and stop keep on re uh, reacting to stuff that you don't. Those people who are against Trump, you don't lost, okay? You lost big time. So don't be coming here and trying to justify your, your why you did this or why, why you didn't do that and who they eat out of who. They, no, leave that alone, okay? Figure out what you're supposed to do. And I'm I, I'm, I'm I'm a liberationist. I'm a liberationist. <laughs> Think about the ultimate liberation. That's what you're supposed to be doing, right? And no, no matter what it is, I mean, that's it. But I do want to say one thing. I, I don't know if I'll say this on Tuesday. It is so interesting to me because people don't do their own research. They don't read whatever it is. Everybody's the Kamala, the, the Harris woman, she made this big thing about abortion or whatever, whatever, because they took away Roe v. Wade. I, don't, don't you? I'm not the only one saying this. This is true. If you read the thing, all Donald, Donald Trump did not take away your right to have an abortion. All he did was do that whole state rights thing. He just said, well, the federal government shouldn't be uh, doing this. This is us individual state by state by state by state. It's like you have a driver's license for this one state, and it's good in all the states, but, you know, it's still a driver's license. Well, if you you have to take, uh, that's a bad analogy. Let me put it this way. If you want your abortion, right, or, or, or plan, whatever, you, whatever you, you think you, you love done laws, you just not, now you got to be active in your political sphere in your state and you've got to make your state uh, have their own personal Roe v. Wade. That's all he's saying. He's saying we ain't dealing with this. In fact, I think Donald Trump's whole thing is going to be like, we ain't dealing with a bunch of stuff. Back back to the whole states rights thing. They had a bad name back in the day. That states rights because back then states rights had a big thing because the state was run by racists. 
like that. So now you can run it if you're not racist. Well, you can run this. Now I'm getting off on a Tuesday. Thing. We'll talk about it, okay? But anyway, so the Bikino, uh, Bikino Faso, I'm talking about the Botswana uh, uh, thing with, with, uh, with Duma, uh, uh, Duma uh, Boko, is the guy's name, uh, is a new president, young cat, young enough cat, uh, lawyer, a bunch of other things. And it was a peaceful handover, whatever it is. So, so that's hopeful. Now, the first thing I, one of the things I have to say about, because when I was doing a Pan African Space Station, uh, uh, some poets came by, and, you know, because we, oh, that's another story. And the, the, one of the first things that the apartheid people attacked was that there was an a, a artist colony of, of Southern, Southern African artists in Botswana, and they attacked that area to, to get rid of, to get rid of those at artist colony, let's put it that way. Now, so that's why I know about Botswana. Plus, you know, I had diamonds that I went, when I was at the University for, University of rather, uh, when I was at uh, uh, Cape Town uh, University, uh, there was a, uh, there was, I was talking to some people from Botswana, they, get, they had free education, because of whatever, whatever, whatever. Anyway, what the thing is, uh, they were forward thinking that, but now they got a sort of, you know, the, the diamonds are an issue now because you can make fake, not fake, you can make synthetic diamonds. So it's not as valuable anymore. They got a diversity of things. A bunch of other stuff happened. But the point is that it's hopeful if this, this guy can, you know, be modern and get and get things done, then, you know, but it's want to be like a, like a, um, dare I say it, like a, like a Burkina Faso down in Southern Africa. And, 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 uh, in South Africa, we'll talk about this maybe on Wednesday to on Wednesday for a World Thing Day, and things are changing here too. So we'll see what happens. Everything looks hopeful, and uh, you know, ultimate liberation is nigh near. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Okay. So hey, uh, uh, dare I say, Godspeed, Godspeed to uh, uh, the, the the newly elected uh, president of Botswana, uh, Duma Boko, and uh, we wish you uh, power. Prosperity, power, and prosperity. <laughs>